All right. As you can clearly see, I finally got around to flipping the blades around on the ceiling fan. Whoa, almost fell. I think the cane wicker looks very nice. If you remember before the video I took of this fan last time, which was probably a couple of years ago, uh, one, the camera was really awful, and two, uh, the white side was facing down. My dad, uh, I asked my dad if we can put the cane down, and he said sure, so I got a screw gun and I went to work, and uh, turns out really turned out really nicely. It's a nice pole chain. This fan is original to the house, which is built in uh, 86. I think it's on a, think it's on a 36 inch down rod. So uh, I'm going to turn it on. Here's high. I think it's blowing air up because what we like to do is it gets really hot up there because you know heat rises naturally and uh, we open those windows and then it just sucks the air up to the fan, through the fan and goes up to there where the bedrooms are. So here's high. We still have this lousy variable speed control. I really hate it because it makes the fan buzz but my dad likes it so here's high. blowing down. It really does blow a nice amount of air though. I'm going to do the rest of it with the pull chain so I can get accurate because I don't really know where medium is on that. I know where low is though, but uh, here's medium. It's a little quieter on medium. It still buzzes. It buzzes, on, it buzzes on all the speeds. There's your low speed. We'll leave that going. I also have a little bit of an update. Unfortunately, we got new appliances. So, um, here's our new fridge. We got a, it's a GE. The old one finally gave out. It would just run and run for three hours, turn off for like five minutes, and then go back on. So uh, we got rid of it. We also got a new washer dryer as well. I'll show you that. Got May tags, just like the one we just like the one we have at the other house. I'm impressed with them. I really like May tags. But I also miss the uh, I also miss the GEs, you know. But they were getting ready to go, so. The only, thing we have left is, the only thing we have left is this, which I kind of like. This is pretty cool. It's old school. It's got the buzzer on it. It's pretty cool. That was here when we bought the house. And uh, we just got that. So it's pretty cool. I guess it's a lot quieter than the old GE fridge, but uh, there's the fan again. It's got a nice low speed. Very quiet now. Maybe I should just operate it by the pole chain from now on. I'm gonna give you guys the top view. I'm just gonna go upstairs. There's your top angle. You might not be able to see it, but on one of the blades, I have a weight on it because it wobbles a lot. So I just put a weight on top of it. What's that tag say? Focus. Come on, focus. Well, it's probably just a, a UL tag, something like that. Okay, here we go. It's probably just a UL tag and it says caution, do not install unless it's seven feet or higher or whatever. Yeah, it's probably that cotter pin. I'm not sure if there's a top canopy. Most likely there isn't. There's a canopy.
Really is a great fan. I like the GE vents. GE vents are really nice on a fan. Let's see if I can zoom in on that tag. What does that say? Six screws. There's your tag. Spotlight kit, which I'm not really fond of. There's a spotlight kit on. We have it wired to a dimmer. Alright, well, that's it for this video. Until next time.